What's up you guys? This week I went to a toy show. It's called Florida Extravaganza. Toy Comics and Car Show. Although I didn't see any cars there. But that's not the point. I went to that show. After that I met up with Seth and we went on a little hunt. So I'm going to show you guys that now. And then uh, when we come back I'll show you guys the haul for this week. So hope you guys enjoy this video. What's up, OG, Triple OG? All right, you guys, I just walked in, and I gotta say, first impression, I'm impressed. Uh, a lot of booths, a lot of people. I didn't expect it to be this big. Let's go around, check out some booths, and uh, see what we can find. Well, I see some turtle stuff here, so I guess this is a good a booth to start as any. Unfortunately, I have all of this. But some mythic legions i almost got sucked into that black hole when i was in atlanta thank god i didn't yeah pretty much i'm good on all of this i don't have these yet but i've seen them around in a bunch of uh the local stores that i go to all the time so if i ever decide to pick them up i can just pick it up there i've got a cara dune for that magical 150 price they also have this Unicron. Hope I'm saying that right. Pretty sure Seth would be interested in this. So he's gotten into the Transformers pretty heavy lately. Oh, and they have this thing. There's something else he's gotten into. Masters of the Universe. So Seth, if you're watching this, uh, yeah. I don't know what I'm looking at, but there it is. All right. Let's see what else we can find. There's something that I really want, but don't know if I'll ever acquire a sail barge. I mean, I love I just did this as well. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. I got the ice I'm all about Joe. Ooh, they got a Donnie. Yeah, I already have that. Oh, they got a Hot Toys Bucky. And a Falcon. Man, I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of tempting. I just got here, so I'm gonna browse around a little bit more and see what else they have before I make any decisions. Especially because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a little pricey. I don't know. We'll see. Check this out. I almost bought this in Las Vegas because I have the Jigglewalk and I wanted the Ghostbusters one to go with it. But they have this graded at an 8.5. It's pretty dope. I like seeing stuff like this. When they get greater in their cases. I mean, I'm never gonna really open it anyways. I'm just gonna display it. It's pretty dope. <laughs> they actually have a bunch of greater stuff. Parked all the way over there in the toy shop. Okay. A bunch of Black Series. They got a Mando. We did this show here back in 9.0. We did here before the sun comes up. Somehow I ended up in front of the amphitheater. And there's no light. We got some G.I. Joe's and some other three and three quarter figs, some Star Wars. <laughs> Pretty dope. I really like this booth. Pretty much everything they sell, I collect. So it's kind of dangerous, actually. I should step away from here. <laughs> got Transformer stuff. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. They have a little bit of everything. This guy. Uh, all right, I'm gonna take a little stroll around, see what else they have. I have a feeling that I'll be back to this booth very soon. So I was checking out this booth because they have some turtle stuff over there. Then I noticed this bin of loose figs, and it looks like it's all spawn, which is incredible. I love this stuff. Oh man. That is, that is so dope. I don't have this guy. So that's a maybe. I think I do have her. 
Wow. Oh, check this guy out. This thing's heavy. Very nice. Oh, I'm gonna be here for a while. Is the bottom bin also spawned? Can't see it's closed. Definitely gonna ask, what is this? Look at this. Oh, I don't know why, but I need this. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'll be right back in just a second, guys. Alright, you guys, uh, they had a lot of cool stuff, so I just took it off. I mean, they were asking five bucks a piece. Why even bother digging through this, you know? Thank you. So yeah, they're uh, so yeah, they're finding some bags for me. I really don't want to carry this around though. I'm gonna be here for a while. Any chance that I can leave this here for a little bit? All right, that works out. Oh wait, the turtle stuff. So they're just gonna hang on to the stuff for me until I leave. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but they have a party wagon still in box. That's what caught my eye. And then it led to the, the spawn purchase. I'm actually very happy with that purchase because I haven't bought a spawn figure in a long, long time. So that's pretty cool. And I don't have any of those. All right, let's see what else we can find. Hmm. This all out of the rings? I guess. what else they got they got a funky skeleton horse thing oh i want to get it but i don't want to knock anything over oh i feel like i need this and i don't know why <laughs> it's 25 bucks missing a tail all right let's just put this back i don't need that in my life right now <laughs> Ooh, turtles. Okay, it's 50 bucks. Alright, I'm gonna keep digging around this booth and I'll be right back. Found some loose turtle vehicles. This is not a turtle vehicle. This is pretty dope. Check out this Hummer. Oh, no. I'll put that back, I promise. I'll just buy it if I have to. Oh, forget that. I kind of want to. This thing is dope. Never even seen this. 65 bucks. Hmm. Check out the other side. Yo, this thing is really cool. Hmm. Okay, this is a maybe for sure. A maybe for sure. What the heck does that even mean? Like, all right, you guys, I'm going crazy looking at all this stuff. Oh, they got GI Joes right here. For all you GI Joe fans. Huh. Oh, yeah, by the way, look, I'm putting this, whatever this is, back. Although I don't know where it came from. It came from this side. Okay this place it right oh okay it, oh god I'm destroying this thing i'm gonna have to buy it by the time the day's over come on bam just like that og magic oh look at this look at this no oh i need this man there's still so much of this show that I gotta see. There's already so much that I want. I can't buy it all. All right, I'll come back to this booth after I've checked everything else out. Plus that other guy with that Falcon. Uh, and now I just heard that there's a Transformer outside in uh, 10 minutes. Like a real one, supposedly. I mean, not a real one, but like a life-size. You know what I mean? Let's go check it out.
Girls and Boys, Megamorph, the transforming police car. Well, that was pretty cool. Megamorphin transforming car. They do birthday parties too. All right, you guys, I'm back inside. I want to show you a few of these uh, dials that they have in this booth. These things are pretty dope. It's not bad. Hmm. Almost 30. What a bunch of cool little things. The more I look, the more I'm finding. That's dope. Some loose figs as well. Hmm. You make these yourself? Yes, sir. You have multiples of these or just these? Just these. They're all one of a kind. Like, you know, whoever comes out when I'm finished. That's gotcha, it. gotcha. kind of like that one there the black series things take a few pictures you know what I think I am gonna pick some up I like that one actually I like all of them that's a problem I don't know which one to pick now <laughs> for these prices hmm. look at that oh man you know what that would be dope for my samurai Star Wars figs but it has the Black Panther logo on it. How much is this? Yeah, that one's 80. Yeah. But the uh, figure's not included, just the... No, yeah. The, the you wouldn't happen to have something without the the logo, do you? No. The only other one I have is this one up here. No, I'm talking about the, uh, the big one. The big one. Hmm. Are you local? Me? I'm in Orlando. Yeah, Winter Garden. Do you make more of these? You saw these online? Um, I do Facebook mostly. Facebook? Yeah. Alright you guys, I am going to pick some up. I think I've decided which ones I'm taking. You can see I've been playing like uh, Tetris with this thing. This guy's been super cool. They let me move everything around because I was really indecisive. So I'm going to take this piece, the piece behind it because I like the way that looks. You can look through this. I'm going to take this corner piece. And I'm going to take that one back there. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. I had a really tough time trying to decide because he has a lot of cool stuff. The prices are amazing too. 25 bucks and what? The amount of time it must take him to make this. It's got to be, I don't know, a few hours at least, right? Let's go. Okay, yeah. I'm going to take them. Thanks, man. And thanks again for the patience. Oh, no problem, man. Trust me. <laughs> These are the first dials I buy. Yeah? Yeah, I've never bought dials before. Yeah, here's a lot, a lot of cool stuff. I really wanted that. But maybe I'll contact him to make me one. He's uh, but he's from Orlando, and I'm always in Orlando, so I might contact him uh, through Facebook so he could custom make a few more for me. For my Mando and other figures i think these i'm going to use just for photography for now if you guys want to check him out he's beckon dean on facebook he also mentioned he's in a bunch of facebook groups so you guys might already know who he is but yeah really really solid work i'm kind of excited can't wait to get home and start taking some pictures of stuff yeah, have a good day good luck you too. thank you yeah. all right got my dials like that i'm gonna see if sometime this week i can take a few pictures some figures post them on ig i've been wanting to do that for a while so good thing i bumped into him all right you guys i'm back at the booth with the falcon and the sail barge i don't know this booth has a lot of things that i'm interested in i also noticed this thing i saw george unbox his on mce and i'm not gonna lie i kind of want it now only because like i've mentioned before in my videos i got the slave one already i got the razor crest coming and i think that 
This will be dope to display with uh, those two ships. Also doesn't help that the guy's really cool and he's willing to give me a deal on all this stuff. Uh, all right. I think I think I'm gonna go for the. Uh, shit, I don't know. <laughs> nah, you know what? I'm gonna go for the Imperial shuttle. I think that's the right call. I'm gonna give them a little plug here. Their Instagram, and Facebook. Go check them out. Really cool dude. And I uh, and I think uh, yeah, I'm gonna do the gonna Imperial shuttle. shuttle. Yeah. All right, man. That's a good piece. That's you got a good piece me, man. You got me. Gotcha. <laughs> I really thought I was gonna get you on the turtle. I have that one already. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, that's the only one I have. I need the other three. I, I was gonna say it's the reason I put them up for sales because it's like to get the other three is they're not easy to find. Yeah. I've never seen them at a show, so uh, I'll find them eventually. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. got them online, but you know me, I like to. Yeah, yeah. It's better in the hunt. Yeah. I like exactly. Them. So he watches my videos, so he knows how much I love turtles. He assumed I was definitely gonna go for a turtle, but... I did, I did, I did a lot. <laughs> Ooh, that's a big box. We can hold it for you unless you're leaving. I'm sorry? We can hold it here for you if you need to. No, that's good. good? I'm already leaving. It's gonna close okay. in, uh, oh, say, 20 good. minutes anyways. So... Hola! Yeah. Como esta? Muy bien! The, the, the ass wiping happened right there. Ugh. It was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm not going to tell them about the... Oh, I'll tell them about it while I'm on your channel. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sitting here on the phone with George and that car right there, there was a, a big uh, heavy set gentleman and a um, heavy set woman. And the heavy set gentleman came around to the passenger side, um, politely pulled down his, his pants so his uh, buttocks was uh, directly in her face. And she pulled out some uh, some baby wipes and uh, proceeded to wipe his uh, his bottom. So um, I almost threw up. This story could have gone totally different too, though. So be grateful she was just yeah. wiping. Listen, I'm, I'm glad she's wiping. <laughs> but this is but this is this is the part that that really sucks right now. So we're going into that comic store right there, and they're in there, and who knows what they've touched. Oh. So, for all you know, all right, so we need gloves. You, we, you, you could, you could have possibly touched a shit-covered figure. For all you know, <laughs> so just saying, shit happens. But hey, poopy comics. <laughs> I'll your hands. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm having an issue with the, uh, with the tendons in my arm right now. So this is uh, lifting all the hot toys. I told you to slow it down, bro. It's all, the, it's, all the, it's all the heavy lifting I do on MCE. Just saying. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> uh. Listen, listen, I'm on the grind, dude. I'm eventually gonna break sooner or later. <laughs> you know? Well, sorry I'm so late. It's okay. Well, you run on Latino time, so it's okay. <laughs> it's, it's all good. It's all good. I could say that, folks, because I'm technically Latino by his Yeah, we claimed him. Yeah. <laughs> He's Latino, Hispanic, whatever you want to call yeah. him now. He's been claimed. <laughs> Claim. <laughs> all right, let me get out of my car. All right. All right, you guys, we're here at past, present, and future in West Palm Beach. I've been here once before. It's been a long time. Let's see what they got. All right, I just walked in. This thing is just, oh, I want it. I want you so bad. Thing is sick. Yeah, that's the one that houses the figures that Steve's been getting. Those uh, six scale, the six scale ones. I need it. You got four Gs, it's all yours. I just got back from Vegas. So keeping up with the Ghostbusters theme, they also have the Blitzway six scale figures. They have all four of them. And they have the kit that comes with Slimer, the stop sign, and the barricade. Huh. You can get the whole thing just right now. If you have about 6,000 you want to spend which i don't want to spend that right now but man how sick would that be to just take that home right now with all the figures and the accessories well, honestly i'll just be happy with the figures for now vankman is 700 what i want what you want what's sitting right here 
Oh, the statues. Turtle dick for river. <laughs> I can't do statues though. I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. They're pretty dope though. How much are these going for? A thousand and nine hundred. Hmm. All right, let's walk away back to the Ghostbusters. <laughs> I mean, even this, I can't really take right now to the truth. They're asking 500 for each one, except for Venkman, he's 700. And this set kit, whatever, is 300. So what is that? It's one, 22, 2,500 right here. Plus four, yeah, 65, that was close. All right, let's see what else they got. Got the Samurai Batman, two of them. Then it's the, that's the He-Man that I have. Superman. Death Trooper. I already have this one, I think. Yeah, you got that. Yeah, I got this one. No, I got another one from you, didn't I? No, you got that one from me. I did? Yeah. Oh. Okay. It's been a while since I get anything from you. Yeah. Gotta do something about that. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, look at the price on that. Six hundred. That's a cyclone. I've been seeing this everywhere I go. It's like Wolverine. Got a nebula. What's this? Iron Man. War Machine. I actually do need this one. But how much is this one here? 400 here. I think Tate's has it for I think 360 if I'm not mistaken. So for 40 bucks I'll just go to Tate's at the Punisher. We got homemade suit Spidey which I already got. We've got an Iron Legion which I already have. Oh man I had to walk right past the Mezco. Ghostbuster figs. I always wanted this set and I never got it. I had a few chances to get this, but I never did. I recently got rid of my Mezco figures, but I will still display this. That's dope. All right, you guys, we just left past, present, and future. We're here at a super target. I'm not looking for anything. He's looking for G.I. Joe's. I want to get super depressed. That's why we're going to Super Target. <laughs> he wants G.I. Joe's. Who knows? Maybe I do find something. I'm not looking for anything, but I might find something. I don't know. Let's see. All right, you guys. Looks like they have uh, the same legends I saw last week. Yeah, the house is at a Target by my house. <laughs> hmm. Nothing that I'm interested in nothing for star wars either well that i need i mean i do like these but i already have them so i don't need them ah all right let's put you back where I you have, belong i have your money og geek woman, 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 woman. <laughs> we're not crazy you gotta watch his video to understand what just happened but uh yeah some brute came to target and look what it did to this poor box Look at this. Yeah, but it huh? works. But it works out better for you that way because you still haven't opened up the one that you have. So now you can yeah, get a no, better look at it. Yeah, it's actually the first time I've seen it. I've owned this for like two months, and this is the first time I've seen it in person. <laughs> because I haven't opened mine yet. It's actually pretty dope. But I got that for you while you were while you were in the middle of the coup. Yeah, it's been a while. Huh. I like it. I like it. I like the stuff that I got. <laughs> Let's go check out the 
NECA Funko section. All right, you guys, I'm here checking out the NECA section. I just dug through this a little bit. Nothing that I'm interested in. Pretty much have everything here. I do need the Battle of the Bands Back to the Future fig, but they don't have that here, unfortunately. But I'll find it eventually. I've seen this one, right? Huh. I don't know if I've seen this one or not. It's pretty dope. Me likes it, me likes it. All right. Seth is looking at fig pins. Oh. Nothing for the fig pins? It's still the <laughs> All right. No luck with the fig pins. No luck with the neck. No luck. No luck with anything. We're out of here. All right, can you just show everybody what that was about? Because yeah, it's a Dinobot. Dinobot. He's got a fucking Dinobot. <laughs> this man is very excited about his Dinobot. A couple of legends. Not much though. Ah, this sucks. All right, in case you haven't noticed, we came to Walmart. These pegs are empty. He found something, a Dinobot. I'm so excited about. And now he's trying to. Uh, I'm trying to detect, trying to detect your sadness. Not sad. I'm happy for you. Dinobot. Dinobot. Woohoo! Yeah. Battle of the bands. Oh, missing piece to the puzzle. Oh, so dope. This made this trip to Walmart all worth it. We got some thick pins. And we both found something. Dinobot, Battle of the Bands. Dinobot, Battle of the Bands. Dinobot, Battle of the Bands. All right, you guys, and we're back. Uh, after that, Walmart, Seth and I went back to his house. Uh, we did two live streams, one on my channel, where I showed the haul from Las Vegas, and I announced the winner of the 7K giveaway uh, on that live stream. And then we went on to his channel. We did the Hot Toys Lounge, and that was it. While I was at his house, I did pick something up, though. Had been a while since I bought something from him, so it felt good. Let me show you what I got. I picked up this Sideshow exclusive stealth mode version of Iron Man. So there it is. It's pretty much just a blacked out Iron Man. Pretty cool details when you have him in front of you uh, out of the packaging. But honestly, with this GoPro, you're not really going to see it much. But yeah, pretty excited to have this as part of the collection. And of course, you guys saw me pick this up at the toy show. Uh, I'm really happy to have this in my collection. If you guys want to see an unboxing and... Uh, in-depth review of of this imperial shuttle go check out mce as a matter of fact i'm gonna link the video of george's unboxing and review of the imperial shuttle down in the description below so check that out uh i'm really really glad i found this and i've got a good deal on it i'm not gonna lie after i saw the review that george did uh, he kind of sold me on it so he's the reason i have this so george if you're watching this is your fault <laughs> but yeah pretty cool and then i picked up a bunch of spawn figures while i was at the show i'm not going to show you all of them there's about 15 that's what they had in the bin i just bought them all then i also picked up those dials and the battle of the bands marty mcfly from back to the future but those things are back at the house i don't have them with me but i showed them to you on video and uh that's about it guys that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already ring that bell so you're notified when i make more videos like this and like always guys thank you for watching